Welcome back, welcome back to CPAPHelpdesk.com. This is a video review for the oral CPAP mask called the Oracle 452 made by Fisher and Paykel. Now this is a very unusual mask. By the way, this is the only Oracle mask uh, out there right now as of this point. Um, and here we go. And by the way, a lot of insurance will not pay for this. I, that's that's some, some of the reports I've heard and but some insurance do pay for it. Strange. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the reason for it, but it is what it is. Okay. So it's called the Oracle 452 mask. Let me move this away. It comes with instructions like this, like IKEA instructions with hardly any writings on it. So let me get rid of that and let me introduce you to the Oracle 452. This just goes into your mouth. It really is a good, ma a good mask. Not too many people like it uh, or would gravitate to this. It is good if you are a mouth breather or you suffer from uh, severe claustrophobia and you need a full face mask because you open your mouth, this is a good option. Um, or if you have nasal pillows or a nasal mask and you're suffering from uh, allergies or your head cold, use this as an emergency backup, okay? Now, look at the head strap. It just goes up to here. It is absolutely refreshing to use a CPAP mask uh, with the headgear that just goes up to here. And let me tell you the beauty about this. Every patient that I worked with on this actually does not use the full, does not use the headgear at all. Let me move this out of the way and let me show this better to you, okay? Um, so this, it's a, this mask can actually stay in place without the headgear. Okay, so you just have to try it. Now, it comes in, let me peel this back here, small and large. So these are the two sizes, small and this is the large. Okay, now what happens here is this. Your, your teeth goes over here. Now the air is going to come out of these two openings. Okay, your teeth comes up to here. Your lip, you know, your teeth is, your teeth is here and your lip goes over here. So pretend your lip goes up to here and this flange then just holds it in place like whoop. So let me turn around. Can you sort of see? So pretend my fingers here is your lip that's holding it in place. Okay. Now, you see this dial? If you turn this dial, what's going to happen is this this piece here will either extend out or retract back. You can put it to your comfort. Okay. Now, this here is your exhalation port. It also is an irritating thing. It's one extra thing you have to work with. Um, you see it has a filter uh, in here. It, this helps disperse the air. It doesn't hit your bed partner so, so directly. Uh, it's irritating because then you've got one more other thing you have to maintain. You get extra filters with this, but you know, then you would have to order extras with that. You know, when, when, when these run out, you cannot wash them. Okay? Um, now, a couple of things. Most, not most people, a good number of people do gag on this. Uh, you know, it's just when, when you go to the doctor's office, they put that little thing that stick in your mouth. Uh, when if you gag, you might be gagging on this. Once again, it doesn't stick all the way into your mouth, just a little bit. You're, like I say, your teeth comes up to here. This is the second edition, the, the older version. This came out more, and that's where a lot of the gagging took place. Now, here's one. Uh, 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 there are two big, big side effects to this. One is drooling. Your mouth will treat this like it is food, okay? Like it's uh, some food you put in your mouth. And what it does is it produces a lot of saliva. So because you produce a lot of saliva, you will be, um, you know, especially if you're a side sleeper, you expect to drool. So you need to have a lot of, uh, you need to have a towel nearby, okay? Over time, you know, over a couple of weeks perhaps, you, the, 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 the amount of saliva being produced will reduce significantly. Now, because it does produce a lot of saliva, uh, you have to clean this every day because you can imagine the, the, the smell uh, of this the following day if you do not clean this. Okay, so cleaning is important on this. The other thing is dryness. Because, the, because this is right in your mouth, your mouth and your throat 
runs uh, high risk of drying. It, it will, believe me, it will dry out. So you must use your heated humidifier. You must know how to raise the heat setting uh, because by raising the heat setting, you, you control how much moisture you get. The higher the heat, the more moisture you get. So that is truly imperative. Now, here's another phenomena that happens with uh, oral mask. Uh, there's a, there's a term called reverse leak. That means depending on how severe your obstruction is back here, the air that goes in here will bounce on the, on the obstruction and some of it will make a U-turn and come out through your nose. Okay, that's called a reverse leak. So what the company has done is, it comes in the packaging, is they've given you these nose plugs and you put them into your nostrils. Honestly, I don't think that these things do not really do a good job. I've heard better results from some patients when they, you know, went to a sports store and bought the the nose the nose clips that swimmers use. Okay, they've got better results. I've heard of people also uh, using a ear, you know, there's a, there's a foam ear plug that people use. Instead of putting it in the ear, they put it in their nostril. They get a better seal from it. Uh, now, over time those people who have reverse leak will find that the reverse leak doesn't is no longer there it, it, it just your body gets used to it and you will not need to put anything in there all right um, now if you're wondering why this was not introduced to you during the uh, uh, sleep test is because this for two reasons one this is a very expensive mask so a lot of uh, sleep centers do not have it if they do they keep one just in case they have a doctor that prescribes it, then they will have to bring this out. Number two, uh, the majority of time, people, when they try this out, within a minute or two, they'll say, oh, I hate it. And now, you know, a lot of these sleep labs go, why bother? Okay. Uh, if, since you're at home, your mindset is different. You are looking for a mask then to work, to make it work for you. You can make this work for you. Now, I don't recommend using this type of, of uh, what do you call this, uh, oral CPAP mask. If your CPAP pressures are on the high side, uh, like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, you know, anything higher than, than 10, you, and the only reason why I'm saying that is because the risk of, the, of, of dryness is much higher, much, much higher, okay? So you must have a very good heated humidifier for that. And if you read, the, if you read my uh, comments uh, on the website, the page, I can recommend uh, a, a separate heated humidifier that you can use that, that we have used that works very, very well. Now, one of the other side effects I forgot to mention to you is if you, some people find their jaw or their tooth does hurt. Now, once again, you're only biting this piece and your lip goes okay, over here. So that you might feel some achiness in your, in your tooth or in your jaw. Now, if you have dental issues going on, don't use this. Speak to your dentist. Now, if you speak to your dentist, I'm going to suggest you take, print a picture from the internet and show it to them. Most of them do not, they have not seen this type of, 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 an, of a mask before. So they might have a tough time trying to visualize uh, uh, this f working for you. Okay? Or, 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 you know, coming up with a good advice for you because they just, they can't visualize what it is. So please take a picture uh, and bring it to you. Now, the other thing is, if this mask doesn't work out for you, I'm going to suggest you use the hybrid CPAP mask. Um, so if you look at the website, it, I'll show you the type of hybrid CPAP mask that has a much higher success rate than this does. This works, but not as high as the, as the other one, okay? Now... Um, one other potential issue that you will run into because you will be using your heated humidifier at a higher setting you will find uh, issues of condensation uh, droplets of water in the tubing okay you have no choice you will increase your heater he the heater setting which increases the humidity output which runs the risk of having higher uh, condensation issues all right um, now now, one more other thing is if you are suffering, for example, from Sjogren's syndrome or any other uh, disorders that, that, that uh, make you susceptible to, to dryness, uh, especially Sjogren's syndrome, 
uh, is, which is a chronic autoimmune disease where a person's white blood cells attack the moisture producing glands so you know you're not producing enough moisture please don't use this it, it really is not going to be a good thing for you all right with that i am going to sign out and uh, thank you for visiting cpaphelpdesk.com by the way this is the oracle 452 made by fisher and paycock